Hey everybody, it's Craig. Wanted to create a video here showing you how easy it is to set up an, a CDN using Amazon CloudFront along with W3 Total Cash for your WordPress blog. I did this for my blog oh, a couple weeks ago, wrote a blog post for it. Um, and as I was getting ready to do that, I was doing a whole lot of research and, and discovered people are making this a whole lot more complicated than it really needs to be. I'm going to walk you through setting up a CDN using CloudFront for your WordPress blog. And hopefully from start to finish, we can do this in about probably 10 minutes. So let's, let's just get into it here. So the first thing you need to do is log into the AWS Management Council. Three things we need to get into when we're in the AWS Management Council. We need to set up an S3 bucket, which is storage in the cloud. Uh, we need to set up a, a user group and a user using the Identity and Access Management Council. And then we need to actually set up the CloudFront distribution, which is the actual CDN. Uh, all very easy to do. Don't let things intimidate you here. There's a lot of different functionality that Amazon offers, and, and for the most part, you can ignore everything except for the, the three things that we're, we're going to focus on here. First things first, let's set up our S3 storage bucket, and you'll need this to work in conjunction with the CloudFront distribution, which will be the actual CDN. So you'll notice here, if you're comparing things to my blog post, the screens are a little different. As luck would have it, a week after I published my blog post, Amazon changed the screen formats. For the most part, they, they line up. And when I get a, a minute here, I'll, I'll update my blog post to, to show what the, the, the new screens are. So first things first, let's set up a storage bucket. So you're going to click on the S3 item within the AWS Management Council. And you'll see I already have a bucket created for my, my personal blog. We're going to set up a brand new bucket for a, another blog that I have on uh, Blogging Flail. So click on Create Bucket, and you want to give it a bucket name. And the easiest thing to do here is set it up to match the URL of your blog. The thing with Amazon, your bucket name has to be unique and that's across all of Amazon. So if anybody else has used www.blogandflail.com, it won't let you set that up. Um, I'm going to set up, set it up in the U S standard region and you don't need to worry about logging. Click on the create button. Done. Your S3 bucket bucket is created and that is all you need to do. You don't need to load anything into your bucket. Amazon, when you set up your CloudFront distribution, will pull things directly from your web host and it will use that as the, the distribution. We've got our bucket created and that's all you need to do. And you can go back to your AWS Management Council. All right. Once we have our bucket created, let's set up a user group and a user. So you want to go into the Identity and Access Management Council and go into groups and you'll see I've got a, a group name here set up for my other blog but let's create a new group and we'll give it a name it can be anything it doesn't really matter I'm gonna call it blogging flail for my blog click on next and you want to grant administrator access to that group Click on next step, just verify things, create group, and your group is set up. And you can see here, here's my group name. I have not assigned any users to that group yet. We're going to do that in the next step. So let's go into users. And again, you can see I have a username set up for my other blog. Uh, let's add a user, give it a new username. And again, it can be anything. I'm just going to call it blogging flail user. You want to grant it programmatic access. And this will uh, allow your WordPress blog to leverage that user. Click on next permissions. 
and we are going to assign that user to the group we just set up. Click on next review. Verify things. Click on create user. And this is rather important. You can see your access key here and your secret access key. And I'm going to show you that. Um, you might be thinking, why is he showing me his access key and secret access key? Just doing it for this video. Uh, don't worry, I'm going to be removing these user users after I create this. So uh, these won't be of any use to anyone. And the key step here is to ensure you download your credentials. This is the only chance you're going to have to do this. So be sure you download them now. Um, and we're going to use that in the next step when we get into the WordPress dashboard. You can close that and you can see we've got our username set up to that group. And if we go back to the groups, you can see I've got that one username assigned to the group now. And that is all you need to do within the AWS Management Council right now. So our next step is to get into the WordPress dashboard and we will set things up with W3 Total Cache. All right, now that we have things set up in the AWS Management Council, now comes the fun part. We can set up the actual CloudFront distribution, which will be our CDN, and we'll do that all within the WordPress dashboard as part of the W3 Total Cache plugin settings. It's really very simple. We'll let W3 Total Cache do all the heavy lifting for us and we don't even need to go back into the uh, AWS console to, to, to set any of this up. W3 Total Cache will take care of all of it for us. So I'm assuming you already have it set up. You'll want to go down to your performance section within the WordPress dashboard. Go into your general settings, which I'm already in. Scroll down to the middle of the page here for our CDN settings. You want to enable that. Click on the drop down, and under Origin Pull, you'll select Amazon CloudFront. This is where some of the the information that that I've seen is is making things more difficult than they need to be. Some folks are setting it up as an origin push where you have to actually put all the information out into your S3 bucket to work with CloudFront. Some people are setting it up as a generic mirror, just creates additional steps for us. Select Amazon CloudFront under origin pull. Click on save all settings and it should give us an error here that says config, uh, config, a configuration issue prevents CDN from working, access key, secret key, etc. Um, we're going to fix that right now, so don't let that freak you out. Um, that's all we need to do for the general settings. So go back to your performance tab, click on CDN, and this is where we're going to set some things up here. So you can leave everything under the general tab that's clicked, um, that's ticked here. Just leave those defaults. This is telling us what we're going to be using for our CDN files. Leave that as you have it. And we're going to focus on the configuration section here. So remember those credentials we downloaded in the earlier step within the AWS Management Council, you'll need these here. So we need to identify what our access key is and what our secret key is. Uh, I've already opened that CSV file in Excel and this is the file name that was downloaded. So I'm just going to copy my access key, paste it here, go back to my super secret access key, and again, I'm only using these for the purpose of this video. I'm, I'll be deleting these here shortly. So uh, once you've pasted those in place, you'll see here that it defaults your origin to your blog name. And, and what we want to do now is we actually want to create that distribution. So when we click this button, it's going to start creating the distribution in Amazon CloudFront for us. So let's create the distribution. 
created successfully. If you go back into your AWS Management Council now, and we go down here and click on uh, CloudFront, you will see that our new distribution is out here. There is our domain name. Here's our origin. And you can see it's enabled and the status is in process. So what's taking place right now is Amazon is crawling your website and ident identifying all of the different assets that need to be part of your distribution. And those assets are these items here up in the general section of W3 Total Cash. It's going to take, depending on the size of your blog, if you've got a medium, small to medium sized blog, it's probably going to take about 10 minutes for it to do its thing here. And what you want to do at this point is wait until it flips over, over to a deployed status. So, All right, so we're back. Took about 17 minutes for Amazon to crawl my site and move things to a deployed status. So our CloudFront distribution is now set up. We did not have to do anything within the AWS Management Council to take care of that. Everything was done for us as part of W3 Total Cash, uh, which is kind of cool. So let's go back to our WordPress dashboard, pick up where we left off. Um, you can leave SSL support as auto. And you'll see here that the um, site host name is this new string of characters at .cloudfront.net. And if we go back to our CloudFront distribution, you'll see the do domain name here matches what we have here. Now there's an easy way to fix that. We can create our own C name. So it's something a little more meaningful, like maybe cdn.bloggingflail.com. You have to create that C name within your hosting provider's uh, cPanel. Uh, it's not that difficult to do, but it's out of the scope for this video. You don't have to do it. You can leave it as this if you want, and I'm gonna sh I'll, I'll show you here that, that it works perfectly fine. Or you can create a new C name. And if you added that new C name, if you did create that new C name, you can add it here. We're just going to leave that alone for now. And then when we're done, let's test out the distribution. And you'll see the test passed. And everything is set up for us. So why don't we save settings, purge caches, give it a second or here for it to do its thing. And if we go into, so in our blog uh, that we set up the CDN for, I'm gonna go down here and pick a post. And let me just scroll down to an image here. So I know this is an image that is served from my web host. Click on that image. And you will see here that this image is now being served from the CloudFront distribution that we just set up. Where normally that would be coming from www.bloggingflail.com, WP content uploads, etc. cetera. Um, so that proves to us the distribution is working. And that's all you really need to do. So I hope you found this helpful. If you want more information, you can refer back to my blog post. Uh, I tell you everything you need to do in like 2,800 words or less. Uh, hopefully the video gives you a little more detail to go along with that and makes it uh, a little bit easier for you. And that's all she wrote. So again, thanks for watching and I hope you found this helpful.